Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Wanted to do a quick unboxing of my new purchase of my Airport Express. I have an old, and it's probably at least seven, eight years old at least, like I said. D-Link DI524 wireless router that I'm using. And I'm not really, I don't, I'm not that tech savvy, and I savvy, I shouldn't say that, but you know, I'm being honest here. Uh, I'm not getting Wi Fi on my iPad 2 uh, on my back deck, which really isn't that far. And I don't have a huge, I mean, we do have a big house, but it's not that huge, and we have big windows, so I shouldn't have any problem getting Wi Fi where I want to get it on the back porch. So, I went to finally just upgrade and get something newer, something more up to date. So I got the Airport Express, $100. I bought this at the Apple store. And I'm hoping this will solve my problems. Although I have read and heard that there are some issues with the iPad 2 and Wi-Fi. If anybody has an iPad 2 out there and you have experienced Wi-Fi problems since upgrading to the iOS 7, uh, send me a comment below. Let me know what you did to correct that problem. I've been trying to search that for a long time and I have been haven't found an answer. So this was needed anyway. Uh, not necessarily this item, but this seemed to be the simplest for me to get as far as hooking up, which is why I bought it and I had a gift card. So I chose to just use the gift card and get this. Now it certainly looks just exactly like Apple TV, except that it's white. So very cool. <clears throat> Will look good with my iMac desktop. And here's the AC adapter. And the Airport Express setup guide. Uh, if this works really well, good, I'm happy. Everything will be awesome. Uh, if it doesn't get me my Wi-Fi on my iPad 2 on the back deck, uh, what I'm going to do is hook it up with the Ethernet at my desktop, which is right over there. If it doesn't work, I'm going to move my router and my Airport Express to my living room, which is this way on camera. Uh, about halfway to the back deck, so we'll see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then this really didn't do anything that my D-Link DI24 is doing now. I might have to maybe get another one of these and expand my network. And if that doesn't work, then I'm screwed. I don't know what the deal is. So uh, this is a very nice long looking cord. I don't know how long that is, but um awesome. Uh, I spent $100 on this, like I said, at the Apple store. Could have got a refurbed one for like $80 or yeah, like $89 or $85, something like that. But if I can just spend $10 more to get brand new, that's what I'm doing. And that's what I did. So anyway, that is my uh, quick unboxing here. We'll just go with the back of the box. Create a wireless network for all your devices that works on a 24 or 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bandwidth simultaneously uh, set up is easy, which is why I really went with this. I looked at Walmart, maybe getting a cheaper one for around $40 or less, $50 or less, but some of the people were like, it says it works with Mac, but it's been a complicated. This seems like I will pay the extra money with my gift card, of course, for simplicity of hooking it up because I'm not that savvy. Anyway. Uh, this is cool. I'm curious to check this out. Use AirPlay to stream music to your stereo or speakers right from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Uh, or from iTunes on your computer. And we do have a wireless printer, so share a printer and access it wirelessly from any computer on your network. So that's going to be uh, that's gonna be good too. Uh, on the back here, which I left covered up, but we have the... AC core to power here. Got the WAN plug-in, the Ethernet plug-in, the USB. I've never really used the USB on a router, so I'm 
curious, like I said, I'm not savvy, so why would I use that? Um, what would I plug into that? <clears throat> Can I plug my mouse or something into that? Because uh, <clears throat> I don't like wireless mouses at all. <clears throat> and then here's the audio out uh, port. So uh, again, my name is BMS Lou. Hope you guys enjoyed this pretty quick video. I'm um, hoping to do another video very shortly. And uh, maybe by the time you're watching this, it's already online. <clears throat> of how everything went with my setup. So uh, everybody take care and um, have a great day. Okay everybody, here I am back in post-production. This was too simple to not just put on the end of this video. So here we go. Look for your applications folder. You're going to want to go into that. Look for the utilities folder, which will be in there. And open up your utilities folder. And then look for the Airport Express app, which is a super simple logo to find. There it is. Click onto that, and literally, when you go into here, there's like two. I had to do two clicks pretty much. You, when you plug in your Airport Express, it's going to be like an amber orange color, it's going to be flashing. That means it's not currently set up yet. You'll hit a button on this screen, uh, and then when you go to the next screen, you'll hit setup, I believe is what it was. You'll go to the next screen, you can change your Wi Fi. Uh, name I changed mine to Figment 2 so you can change it to whatever you like and it's just that simple then you click complete or done and then it finishes its configuration and it's all good to go so super simple I'm very happy with this purchase I do have Wi-Fi on my back deck now uh, and now what I'm going to look forward to doing is seeing what else this uh, Airport Express can do as far as playing some airplay music so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video thank you for watching again BMS Lou here Take care, everybody.